Hi, my name is Enoch Hernandez and I'm an application engineer here at Hawkward Systems. Today I'm going to be discussing the Modify Configuration Table. Now, I've designed a plug that will be used in a magnetic net release system that I will be using when I go fly fishing. That way, whenever I want to grab my net, it doesn't have to actually be clipped on. It'll just be attached by magnets and I can just grab and it'll snap off. Now, what I want to do today is I want to figure out how much it, this part would weigh if it was a different material. To do that, I'd have to create different configurations and take certain precautions so that I don't affect the other configurations, or I can use a modified configuration table to do that. Now, there are three places that I can access it. I can do it directly from the material, from a feature, or from a dimension. So if I want to start off by controlling dimensions, and here in this example, I already have my dimension shown, as you can see, I can just right click on the depth. And when I do that, I can activate the configure dimension, which is a modified configuration table. And then from here, I can add further more configurations. So here I have create a new configuration. I don't have to go into the actual configuration manager. I can do it directly from here. The new configuration will be called copper because that's what it's made out of. And then I'll add another configuration. I'll call it brass. And now I can control the depth and not worry about if it's going to change the other configuration because I'm doing it directly from here. Now, like I mentioned, I want to see what these other configurations are going to weigh. So to add a material column here, all I have to do is just double click here on the material. And as you can see, for the default, it's already at 1060 alloy. So now, once it's added here, that column, I can go directly into that row here for the copper where it says 1060 alloy. Click on the drop down arrow, and there's copper for me. So now I change that. Then I can do the same thing for the brass. Click on this drop down arrow here and select brass. Now, if I wanted to automatically update what I've done, instead of just rebuilding the active configuration, I can rebuild all configurations. So I'll go ahead and do that. So now all these changes have been put in, and I'm going to continue adding more dimensions and maybe add a couple more features. So I just have to make sure that my modified configurations table is active, so I just click here. And I'll just double click and add the top diameter, click again here to activate the table again, double click on the bottom diameter, and now I can control exactly what those diameters are going to be if I want to see a different shape or just see how it will look overall. And as mentioned, let's see if I want to control a feature. So I'll click on Modify Configurations table just to make sure it's active once again. And this time, I'm going to control the shelling. So I double click on the shell. Oh, let me do that one more time. And there it is. So again, I can suppress directly from here. I can suppress the brass for the shell feature there and not have to worry about me affecting anything else or taking any precautions. I'll change the bottom diameter for this to 0.5 just for fun. So there it goes. And I can go ahead and click apply so I can put it in. Now, if I were to click OK right now, I'm going to run into some trouble. The reason I say that I'll run into trouble is because if I don't name this and save it, although the changes might be impl implemented, the table itself wouldn't. So I'll go ahead and call this table magnet release. And now you'll notice that that area to save is no longer grayed out. It's been active. And I can click here on Save Table View. Now we must be aware that anytime any changes take place, even though there might be an existing table, I have to click here when it's active or else that change will not be saved on the table, although the change will be implemented once I click Apply. So anytime there's a change, just remember to click on that Save Table View. I also have the options to flip rows and columns if I want to. Here I can hide and show custom properties, so I'll just make that bigger so I can create a new property as so. And then I'll close this out. And I can show, and I actually have a property array related. See how it has the author? It popped it up already, so I can see my name. I'm the author right of this part. And then I don't need to do anything else, so I just click OK. But let's say I want to go back and I want to use this table again. All I have to do is click on the Configuration Manager. And now, right below the Parts icon, we have a Tables folder. If I click on the Tables folder, there's the Magnet Release Table. I can double click to activate it. And again, if I were to add another configuration, let's say I want to make one for 
I'll just call it test and I can change this guy to ABS plastic okay perfect and then I can continue leaving it as it is now if I click OK those changes might have been implemented but again it won't be saved in the table so make sure you click save table view and it's been added so again we see how easy it is to use this table and be able to make changes and not have to worry about will it affect the other configurations it's all made in a couple seconds directly from the modified configurations table now if you have any other tips and tricks regarding the modified configurations table go ahead and leave us a comment and give us a like thanks again mm -hmm.